This is considered the Roswell in Brazil, the Vazina Brazil UFO incident. What you are looking at could possibly be an extraterrestrial. Now, the person that sent me this information via email is a listener of Leak Project. And he said, Rex, you got to look into this. I have been scouring the internet for images that I have from several years ago. And I don't see them anymore, so I'm going to send you the image. So he, you're looking at the image here to the left. What I did is I did a reverse search via Google search, and there was only one website that came up with this image. Uh, he, so it's very difficult to find. So he was absolutely correct about that. If you type in this incident in Brazil, this UFO incident, you're going to see a lot of sketches. You're going to see images of different incidents and most likely fake ETs, etc. But it's not this incident. So I thought that was also very interesting. It makes it more fascinating for myself to do research on stuff that has been scrubbed and much more difficult to find now than it used to be. So let me just kind of read to you the storyline behind this. And for those of you that say Rex don't use Wikipedia as a source, the Wikipedia, I do cross-reference on all the news that I do. So if I'm reading from Wikipedia, I'm also going to correlate that from other links. Wikipedia is just an an easier source to, for a universal reference point. And I'll tell you, you're right. A lot of stuff on Wikipedia has been edited or manipulated for public domain. So even in this article, when it talks about the end, how they attempt to debunk it, it's, you know, once again, they're like, yeah, well, what these girls saw, it was just some crazy lunatic that was homeless. And the cops that they saw in the military that were there, oh, they were just supposed to be there at that time anyway, just normal incident. But they'll give the official account in a, in a watered-down version and then, you know, a quick debunk two lines afterwards. So let me just read this to you real quick. The Vagina UFO incident. Now, <laughs> look at that name. And just take out the R and the H. <laughs> what kind of UFO incident is that? What do you get if you take out? Never mind. I'm sorry. My bad. Okay. Nanny, nanny, nanny. Erase that out of your memory. The. Ver, I can't even say it now. I can't even look at it the right way. This is really silly. The Varzina UFO incident is the name given to a series of events involving the alleged sighting and capture by the military of an extraterrestrial being in Varzina, Brazil. In 1996, such reports were first broadcast on the Sunday TV show Fantastico of Reed Globo and quickly gathered extensive media coverage worldwide, including an article in the Wall Street Journal, and has become since then the most famous case in modern Brazilian ufology. The Brazilian government has officially denied any claims involving the capture of an extraterrestrial and, of course, some theorists claim otherwise, accusing the government of a cover-up. Now, Kevin Randall writes the case is complicated, more complicated than any other in the UFO field. He notes there's a lack of physical evidence. Well, there's always a lack of physical evidence in a conspiracy that involves extraterrestrials. Here you go. Overview, the creatures. According to media reports, the creature was first sighted by three women, ranging from 14 to 21 years old, sisters Lelaine and Val, <laughs> Val Fatima Silva and their friend. So they allegedly saw the creature in the afternoon of January 20th, 1996, a biped about five feet tall with a large head and very thin body. With V-shaped feet, brown skin, and large red eyes, it seemed to be a wobbly or unsteady and the girls assumed it was injured or sick. The Silva sisters said they fled and told mother they had seen the devil. The woman did not believe them until she went to the area 
where they had allegedly seen the creature and smelled a strong ammonia-like odor and found nothing but its footsteps and a dog sniffing the place. After relating the tale to family and friends, rumors began to spread throughout the city regarding UFO sightings and alien creatures being abducted by the military forces. Two days later, another creature was allegedly found lying on the road. Three military trucks were supposedly sent to retrieve it. A similar creature was reportedly seen at the local zoo by its janitor. Following months, three animals mysteriously died. So, the owners of a farm in the town reportedly saw the UFO hovering over their cattle, and one of the people was attracted by the sudden agitation in her animals and spotted the flying object after she went to check it. It hovered over there for about 40 minutes over the field. So, and then at the end here, this is what I was talking about, about the debunking. You know, they just give two lines to debunk everything. Inquiry. In regards to the wasteland creature, an official inquiry led by the Brazilian military authorities revealed in 2010 that the Silva sisters had actually came across a homeless, mentally unstable man named Mudinho, covered in mud, and that the military trucks were operating in the area normally, you know, just normal schedule, normal routine that night. So I think that's a pretty ridiculous attempt to debunk this, yet obviously most people will probably look at that and say, yeah, okay, just, just a homeless person that was crazy. So this image right here, does this look like a homeless person to you? Does this look real to you? It looks real to me. Now, here's the deal, though. You can make a lot of pictures look real, especially with special effects, makeup, Photoshop, it's very easy to make something fake or artificial look real. Yet, if I had to say, yeah, that looks super real, and it looks more real than fake to me, well, then you're going to go, why are there tubes hooked up to it, are, and why are they trying to keep it alive with these sensors on its you know, heart for functions or over what, maybe it's its heart, I don't know, I mean, maybe it's got two hearts, but there's a lot of questions to ask, and it's very difficult to find this. So here's where I found the image. This is the only place I found the image on Forget Omori. Forget Omori. Man, it's been a long day, ladies and gentlemen. The Intensive Care Unit Alien. And this guy asked the same question. He's like, why are they trying to keep this alien alive? Well, thank goodness they're trying to keep him alive. Yet this website tries to debunk this image by saying that it's taken off of an X-Files episode because you can see it uses similar connections there for a breathing apparatus. And, you know, it's also got the, the sensors on its body. Yes, you can manipulate the coloring, and you can definitely change it up. I don't think that's the same image. I watched the video clips from the smoking man smoking there, and then somebody shot that alien while I was in the operation room, and green blood, you know, went out. I don't think that's the same being. The eyes are different. The nose is different, and even the transducers that are on the body are different. You know, the coloring, yeah, I could see how you could change that and add to it and stuff, but there's just too many differences in there. I do not think that is... It could be. Hey, I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, you know, if you say, hey, Rex, you're wrong here. This is the exact same image. It's just been manipulated. Hey, show me the data. Awesome. We'll move on. We'll, we'll find something else to debunk. I'm totally cool with that. But as of right now... I'm not saying it's aliens. You're saying it's aliens. Being aliens, if you think it's an alien, a real extraterrestrial, a real being from another planet on this planet, or maybe this being was originally from this planet and, and took a nice intergalactic tour for you know a few light years, came back, and look at what it looks like now. Or, you know, there is a very good rebuttal to what this could be, this extraterrestrial image right here. And I think the best rebuttal to this is it's highly concentrated swamp gas from Uranus. But a bop bingo! Nanny, nanny, nanny. We come in peace. We come in peace. All right, guys. I apologize. Well, actually, that was kind of funny. For some people. Some of you guys are going to say, Rex, you're totally annoying, and you shouldn't be this sarcastic when... First of all, you're not funny, and second of all, it's such a serious topic. Well, sh there you go. That's for you, okay? Anyway, guys, thanks for being here. I would really like to get your take on this. Do you think that this is a real extraterrestrial, or do you think it is just a 
a model of some sort, some type of special effects, or do you think it's the the image from the prop from X Files? And let's say that you're like, well, Rex, there are a lot of similarities there, so maybe it is. Have you ever thought that a lot of stuff that is in X Files, the different episodes and series, are based on actual cases and events, X Files types of events? So they took something that actually happened and turned it into a story. Can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. Leakproject.com. Be the change you want to see.